Hi, my name is Connie Deegan, and I would like to invite you to participate in this year's City Nature Challenge. It's going to be from April the 28th through May the 1st. The City Nature Challenge is a worldwide competition. It allows us to go outside and make observations of, of anything we find in the natural world. Plants, animals, could be a single leaf, could be an acorn, another type of seed. And those observations help us realize the biodiversity that we have in certain areas. Then we can take money and allocate it towards things that we feel are in trouble. And finally, it helps us track invasive species if they're moving towards us or, or if they're starting to move away. We have been challenged by the city of Knoxville. We need you to go all out and make as many observations as you can between April 28th and May the 1st. Go Johnson City! I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this app. All right, once it's downloaded, you'll notice that it is a green bird on a white background. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up the app. Now, I've already made observations and you can see those, but go down below. If you're going to make an observation, hit the camera. Once the camera comes up, hit it a second time. Approach the plant you want to take a picture of or whatever. Try to get a good representation photograph. Take a picture. Now you have a choice. You can either retake the picture if you think it might be blurry or something, or you can use you can click use photo. I'm going to use this photo. Up at the top of the screen, you can see that it's moved my photo there. Also to the left, there's an additional box with a plus. If I wanted to, I could take a second photo. I just click the plus. I'm going to click the camera one more time. Maybe I want to get a really good profile shot of these flowers. Move on in, take a picture. Once again, I have a choice, either retake or use photo. I'm going to use that photo. I click use photo and now I'm going to hit just below those two pictures. I'm going to hit what did you see and it's calculating and it's going to throw up. It's what it thinks it is and it looks like it's a bluebell. So just to check, there's an information I I can click on and I'm going to go. I clicked on that. It pulls up the bluebell. It gives me some uh, more information about the plan I can read about to help me decide if it is in fact a bluebell. I can go down below to a geographical map and I can see that my observation was taken right in the middle of a huge area that should be populated by Virginia bluebells in the correct habitat. So here, after I look at that, I'm going to go back and I just want you to notice that this photograph has been time stamped. It's also been stamped with GIS. It tells me where I am. It's got a privacy option. Right now I'm in a public park, so I'm using an open option, but if I were to take a whole lot of observations in my own yard, I might choose to make it more private. All right, now the important part, got to go down to that green bar where it says share. Once I hit share, this observation becomes public. This observation will be reviewed by research scientists who will in fact identify it as a bluebell and also the species of bluebell that it is, and that point will count towards Johnson City over Knoxville. Sometimes you might want to make an observation of something far away like a bird in a tree. You'd want to use your camera and upload your photographs to inaturalist.org and follow the prompts from there. So please join us April 28th through May the 1st, and remember this is a competition. Johnson City has to beat Knoxville. You can do this anywhere. You can make observations in your yard. You can make observations in a park. You can make observations while you're hiking on the AT. And every time you make one and you hit the share button, that's one point for Johnson City.